Hello, this is fast calculation methods lesson 2. In this, I will continue from fast calculation method lesson 1. In the lesson 1, we discussed about addition and tables. I hope you have learned the tables because we will use the tables from 1 to 20 in this lesson. Now, first thing I am going to discuss is 2 digit into 2 digit multiplication. For example, if you need to multiply, first we discuss the multiplication. Suppose you need to multiply a b into c d both are two digit numbers one is a b other is 2 d given the condition that a b is less than 20 the your first number is less than 20 because i told you to learn the tables from 1 to 20 that's why i will take one of the number as less than 20 for example you need to multiply 17 into 13 you need to multiply 17 into 13 now how you can multiply this without writing in mind you have to imagine like this 17 into this is 10 plus 3 this is 170 plus 51 answer would be 221 now very careful you don't have to write this in exam you just this is just for understanding you don't have to write like this in exam in exam you will straight away like write this 17 into 10 170 plus 51 221 next is 16 into 24 now in order to calculate 16 into 24 you must know the table of 16 this is again 16 into 20 plus 4 this is just for the explanation this is 16 into 23 20 plus 64 your answer would be 384 next is 15 into 43 now you must know the table of 15 this is 15 into first we will calculate 15 into 40 this is 600 plus 45 your answer will be straight away 645 17 into 67 now if you don't know the table of 17 it will be very difficult for you to calculate this multiplication in a faster way now if i know 17 into 6 this 17 into 6 now 17 into 6 is 102 but this is 17 into 60 i will this is 17 into 60 plus 7 now 17 into 60 is 1020 plus 17 into 7 is 119 this will becomes 1139 important to remember that this this is just i am writing for the sake of explanation you don't have to write that much in, in exam you, you have to state like this in exam 1020 plus 119 your answer would be 1139 next 18 into 89 if you need to calculate 18 into 89 you don't need, need to do like this 18 into 80 plus 9 this is one way of doing this 18 into 80 plus 9 again you don't have to write like this in exam you have to solve this you have to imagine this verbally other way could be 18 into 90 minus 1 now you must know a table of 18 18 into 9 is 162 so 18 into 90 would be 1620 minus 18 your answer would be 1602 in a similar way when i, I need to find 14 into 97 don't need to go 14 into 90 plus 7 this is 14 into 100 minus 1 answer is 1400 minus 100 minus 3 so you note 1 1400 minus 42 your answer would be 1358 again very important to understand you don't have to write this in exam in exam your straight should be like this 1400 minus 42 your straight answer should be 1358 if you are able to do this two digit multiplication in a faster manner in exam it will save a lot of time and you will able to solve question in a much faster way next if a b into c d you need to multiply two digit number is also two digit number now both number a b as well as c d both number are greater than 20 but less than 99 it means that both of the number are less than 100 now there is a vedic mathematics i will apply to this vedic mass i will solve this question with the help of vedic mass first question i am taking let's say you need to multiply 67 into 23 67 into 23 i will solve this question with the help of vedic maths now with vedic maths you can multiply this in a single step now first step would be how much within a one step there are three steps involved 
first step is you need to multiply u into u that is unit digit into unit digit u stand for unit digit second step is cross multiply cross multiply and add cross multiply and add third step is t into t t stands for tens digit into tens digit you need to multiply tens digit into tens digit now first step u into u when i say u into u it means that 7 into 3 now 7 into 3 product is 21 but i will write only 1 2 will be carry this 2 will be carry 7 3 are 21 i will write 1 2 will be carry now second first step is done second step cross multiply now cross multiply 6 3 are 18 and 7 2 are 14 and add now cross multiply this is you are getting 18 plus 14 this is 32 6 3 are 18 7 2 are 14 18 plus 14 32 plus 2 was already carry add this 32 plus 2 this becomes 34 but i will write only a single digit at a time 34 i will write 4 the new carry will be 3 now last step t into t t 6 2s are 12 this 6 2s are 12 12 plus the 3 is the carry one this is 15 so answer is 1 5 3 1 5 4 1 initially it may seem difficult for you to uh, imagine that this is seems to be a difficult process but once you will practice i am sure that it is a very easy way to calculate 2 into 2 digit number when both the numbers are greater than 20 and you don't know the tables next example i will take in a similar way suppose you need to calculate 65 into 38 now first step was u into u 8 5s are 40 8 5s are 40 but you will write 0 4 is the new carry 4 is the new carry carry i am writing here number and carry carry is 4 i will write 0 carry is 4 next step is cross multiplication 6 8s are 48 48 6 8s are 48 plus 5 3s are 15 cross multiply and add 48 plus 15 is 63 but 4 was earlier carried it becomes 67 number will become 67 so you will write 7 the carry would be 6 new carry is 6 you have to remove all these things so 48 plus 15 was 63 plus 4 4 was already carried the number becomes 67 you will write 6 last step is 6 3 is 18 18 plus 6 is 24 you have to write the number as as it is the answer is 2470 one more 79 into 87 you need to multiply 79 into 87 now first step is u into u 7 9 is a 63 7 9 is a 63 uh, now you write 3 the new carry is 6 cross multiply 7 7 is a 49 plus 8 9 is a 72 72 plus 49 add 72 plus 50 122 minus 1 121 plus 6 was already carry 120 7 the new carry is 12 remember that you will write only one digit at a time rest of that number will be carry so 12 is the new carry now 7 into 8 56 56 plus 12 answer is 6873 this is the your product this vedic mathematics technique is also useful to carry out the squares you don't need to learn any extra formula for squares if you need to calculate square it's very easy to calculate 86 square with this method again u into u 6 6 is a 36 the carry will be 3 cross multiply 8 6 is a 48 plus 48 96 plus 3 is already carry 99 the new carry is 9 8 8 is a 64 plus 9 73 so in this way you can calculate the square also now that was the 2 into 2 digit multiplication now this is only important formula in vedic mathematics only important concept in vedic mathematics for competitive exams be remember this is only important concept that i told you in vedic mathematics rest of the concepts are unnecessary as far as competitive exams are concerned you are not supposed to solve higher calculations like three digits in competitive exams for example if the question comes like this 392 468 there is a vedic mathematics formula for this also but you don't need to go for that 
nobody is expected you to solve three digit into three digit via vedic mass you will reduce this approximate this number as this is 3 this number is 390 into 470 now my multiplication reduced to 47 into 39 and then i will calculate my answer so you are not supposed to calculate three digit into three digit so never solve in exam three into three digit number calculation you are only supposed to calculate two digit into two digit if it comes like this always approximate always approximate the data next important concept is if you need to calculate square of number ending in 5 square of number ending in 5 for example if you need to calculate 35 square you can calculate the with the vedic mathematics formula that i told you but there is a separate easy concept for this you need answer will come in two parts one part is 3 into 4 5 square is 25 so 5 square is 25 you have to write it separately you need to multiply this 3 with the next number of 3 next number is 3 into 4 25 so answer will be 3 into 4 12 25 same way if you need to calculate 85 square this is only true for calculating the square of numbers ending in 5 again 5 square is 25 5 square 25 will be there now this 8 will be multiplied to the next number 8 into 9 next number is 9 8 into 9 is 72 25 Suppose you need to calculate ninety-five square. Again, answer in two terms. This five square is twenty-five. You have to write separately. Nine will be multiplied by ten. So answer is ninety twenty-five. So in this way, you can calculate the squares of number ending in five quite easy. So that was all about the calculating the squares multiplication. One more concept is this very important. Eleven square. Is one to one, triple one square, three one square. This is one two three back to two one. So what's the logic behind this? Logic behind is this is that number of ones are three. So we have to count one two three then back to one. Now one 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 square, four ones I have. So I will count till four. One two three four. Then back to one, three, two, one, 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 one square, six times one square. Again, there are six ones. I will count till six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to one, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it sometimes the question comes on this also. So you must know this. Now in this lesson, briefly, what I discuss in this lesson, I just explaining. So in this lesson we discussed A B into C D two digit number into two digit number multiplication when one of the number is less than twenty. This we discuss using tables. Once you know the tables from one to twenty, you can solve like this. Now A B into C D when both numbers are greater than twenty, you have to go by Vedic mass concepts I told you. You do not supposed to solve A B into C D three digit number into three digit number. Approximate into two digits. So in this way, you will be able to solve all kind of calculations in any kind of aptitude exam. Again, I am saying you don't need to learn any other ways other than this I have explained. That was all about the calculations. Thank you.